here with another video. Today's video, we're going to be making DIY body armor. DIY skid plates for the taco. You can see I've re already removed the old skid plates, which I have here. They're okay for what they, I guess, what you get. Uh, but in reality, you're talking maybe like some 16 gauge stamped steel and you can obviously see where I've crushed on rock. Um, so with that being said, we've ordered a four or two and a half foot by seven foot slab or sheet, I should say. All right guys, yeah, we're getting ready to start using the plasma cutter. Yeah, I got this plasma cutter on Jags. It was about, I think a little over $200. Uh, maybe a little less maybe a little over with the coupon I've used it once before I'm not entirely sure how to use it so I'll go through the settings and kind of figure it out as I go uh, but just make sure you have uh, safety equipment you know you have uh, here I have a uh, set of MIG gloves and, uh, and a welding helmet make sure you're wearing long sleeve uh, you know shirts and uh, heavy-duty long sleeve shirts and long pants just to keep your uh keep your skin protected from the sparks that it creates but yeah so let's uh let's mess around with these settings and see if we can get this thing to work all right so unfortunately i ran into some issues using the plasma cutter i've had it sitting around for a little bit and uh i don't know i don't know if something's broken or user error but anyway uh, i've been using this uh ryobi circular saw with a, um, it looks to be a demon uh, metal cutoff uh, wheel. And it's been doing a phenomenal job at cutting this uh, 10 gauge steel. So been using that, uh, continue to use it throughout the, the build, but you can kind of see what we did. And again, we're just uh, mimicking that template um, that my buddy gave me. So. Let's uh, let's continue on and start working on these bends. You can see, to to make the bends, I'm actually, uh, I guess you would call it grading the uh, steel, um, creating a a line about halfway through the steel, and it allows me to bend the 10 gauge a little bit easier. But what I'm gonna end up doing is welding welding all that together. Sorry, that's a little blurry. Yeah, so I'm gonna weld all that, and it should add that structure and fill it up, um, and we should be good there. But let's uh, continue on with the process. All right, guys, so I finished up the front section of the skids. All that's left to do is the welding, which I'll do tomorrow because my MIG welder ran out of gas shielding gas so I'll pick up some gas tomorrow and I'll finish welding the areas where I bent or graded and bent the uh, the steel here kind of see and again I want a big shout out to my buddy Julio who ordered a pair of rock I'm sorry skid plates brought them to my house so I can use them as a template to make mine and at this point they're coming out really well considering I only spent the hundred dollars on steel so tomorrow we'll finish up and I'll see you then all right guys so day two um, just started recording but uh, just finished welding up the front skid and uh, came out pretty good pretty good considering I didn't have a metal brake to to do the bending what I ended up doing was kind of grading the metal if you can kind of see where I, uh, where I kind of dug into the metal, removed some material, and it allowed it to bend much easier compared to not removing that material. And then what I end up doing is filling it up with weld. And see where I welded right across all throughout. So it does require a lot of uh, welding but it's so much easier than uh, than figuring a way to bend it without an, an industrial metal brake. What you could possibly do is find your local 
machine shop and see if they have a hydraulic uh, metal brake that you can use for a fee or have them you know bend the metal for a fee however if you don't have that around you or that uh, capability definitely look to just grade the metal and I use a circular saw here with that Diablo blade you can grade the metal remove some of the material and it makes it that much easier to bend so what we're gonna do now is finish welding this guy up we got that guy welded up and uh, we'll move on to the next step Alright guys, so I just finished welding up the skids. Now everything came out pretty well. You know, I can't complain. Um, at this point, all that's left to do is get them painted. I do have some extra Raptor liner from another project. So I think I'll have enough to at least coat the bottom with the Raptor liner. Maybe not the uh, backside, but yeah, we'll get it coated up. Another thing to note, I had a, had a little bit of an issue mount getting the uh, this cross member here. So what I end up doing is first mounting um, the tabs, mount the tabs first, and then you know create the cross beam from there. So bolt down the tabs, the mounting points, and then create the cross beam. But other than that, you know everything went pretty well. It took about two three days, give or take, to uh, complete the project. All I got left to do is paint. So what I'll end up doing is bringing them in the garage, get them all painted up, and see about putting them on the truck today. So stay tuned for the finished product. All right guys, that pretty much wraps up the skids. I got them all primed and painted. Uh, I got them painted in the Raptor liner, super easy to apply. They came out really nice. Anyway guys, I'm gonna put them on the truck now. 